Hey everybody, I'm Rob Ferretti and I'm going to tell you what grinds my gears. Behind me is an 04 Acura NSX, my car, and something that really pisses me off is when you take a manufacturer and they charge so much more for a replacement part than they should. It sort of devalues the aftermarket, or the, not the aftermarket, it sort of devalues the car's value uh, on the secondary market because when you need to buy parts to fix it, it's so expensive that nobody wants to touch the car. Luckily, this car doesn't really have that problem because it's such a re reliable car, you don't really run into replacement parts issues. Now, that brings me to the part at hand, the clutch for this car. This is not, by any stretch of the imagination, a fast car. It's an NSX, it's got like 11 horsepower, maybe 200. Uh, whatever it is, it doesn't require a, a special clutch that should do anything I've got clutches for my other cars that are super fast and I'm okay with them costing $2,500 because they hold 800 or 1,000 horsepower. This car has got the same horsepower as a Honda Accord or anything else. So it doesn't require a fancy clutch and flywheel. But from Acura, and that's what I did, this car, I was lending it to Rob Dom to drive on adventure drives last year. And I didn't want to ship it across the country. I didn't know how many miles were on the clutch when I bought it. I felt more comfortable just swapping the clutch. I brought it to the dealership. They said, well, we won't put aftermarket parts in it. I said, fine, the trip is in two weeks. Throw a factory clutch in it. The factory clutch job for, I think it's like 290 horsepower, was almost $5,000. And that's mostly parts, not so much labor. Why does that bother me so much? Because a 290 horsepower car does not require a $4,000 clutch or a $3,800 clutch, of which most of it was the cost of the flywheel. And I think the, the flywheel itself was almost $2,800, which is mind boggling to me. You can't make a, a clutch for a, 200, a 220 wheel, I don't even know what these things dyno out at. I mean, there's lawnmowers with more horsepower out there. You don't need a $3,000 clutch for that. Really grinds my gears really sort of pisses me off. It's not the only car that does it. This is just one example. Leave your comments below. I know I could have gone with an aftermarket clutch, but I was running into the difficulty of now putting an aftermarket clutch in, dealing with the dealer who's already got the car, then I have to move it from the dealer, find somebody else to work on the NSX. It just didn't make any sense. Leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching.